Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to try cutting with the laser. We are going to use this three millimeter plywood that we picked up uh, to see if it'll cut through. We also picked up a cooling rack uh, to put underneath the plywood uh, just to let the air flow underneath it as well. Alright guys, so here we are after testing. Uh, we did a lot of testings at a bunch of different speeds and passes. Alright, so what we found out is you can see right here on the waste board that I had in, it cuts really good on the Y axis and it does not cut great on the X axis. So what it is is that over here on the air assist, this is not perfectly lined up. Um, so when it's moving this way, it's not blowing out all the soot and debris uh, as well as we need it to. So here are the boards uh, we cut. We did a bunch of them, like I said. We did get some that cut all the way through. It takes about three passes on the good side and seven, eight on uh, the bad side. But it does cut through. Uh, it's just not as good as we want. So we're going to do something about that today. I found a maker and ordered a new kit uh, for this. He also made a air assist. We wanted to upgrade. We figured we might as well do it all at one time. Um, so new air assist piece that the air is going to come straight out the middle and surround the entire laser. So it will always be straight down. Perfect. Also had a running issue when it tried to home with this axis and it was too low, it would hit uh, the frame and wouldn't be able to hit the homing switch. He makes this piece, it goes right here and it will hit the homing switch so that the laser doesn't mess it up. Uh, really excited about that and now we're just going to get everything installed. Alright, so let's pull this laser off and get the new one set up. Uh, luckily with this one I can just take this off so it's going to be an easy removal um, and put back together. I won't have to take all the wiring off. I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to remove the power one because it's short and will get in the way. And we just pull out the air assist. Remove the two screws on the back. Okay, keep these screws handy. We are gonna reuse them with the new axis. Provided wrench, or one that fits. All right, so this one goes into the same spot. All right, just sizing it, making sure that it fits before I actually put the laser module on. got two holes in the back already so you just line up the holes where you're going to mount it I'm just gonna figure out exactly where I want this this did come with a nice 
piece there so that we can adjust it quickly. I'm gonna put it in its lowest position so I can figure out exactly uh, which section I want the module on, which holes. All right, so that's as low as it'll go. Um, put it back on. So this is the piece that you use to measure to the cutting surface. And I would like it to be able to go to the waste board that I have the entire thing mounted on. So the second set of screw holes is where I am going to mount this because that puts it perfectly to where I'll be able to cut something on this surface without always having to raise it up. With it in its lowest position, I can put these screws in right there. So we're gonna get that mounted up. And then just tighten it into place. All right, laser is secure on the new axis. Before we do that, I am going to put in this new piece. Now, he did put notes in there that you might need to sand out the inside of that. Mine uh, fits great, so I don't need to do that at all. And it has a little grub screw. I'm gonna tighten that down so that it doesn't come off. Now, just put it back on. I'm gonna raise it up so it doesn't scratch. And it fits great. Tighten back on your nuts and it is installed. Okay, now reattach the airline. Okay, that was a snug fit. Uh, this has been out in the cold, so it was uh, not very pliable. Got some warm water and some needle nose, stretched out the end, got it on, and now it is super snug. Last piece, homing switch. So it goes on where this wheel is, so we take this nut and washer off. Uh, slide this in and put that back on. So real quick, I did want to take a look at uh, this. This is the original plug that comes with it to do your uh, distance for your focus. And this is the one that came in the kit. So what we're looking at here is the difference from where the bottom of the laser was would go to here. Now we can't do that because of the air assist. So it's actually gonna to come to this piece and hit the frame of the laser. All right, we are on that now. And that's right where it gets bigger after it goes down over the regular module piece. This is now how you will set your focus on the laser to your piece that you are engraving or cutting. All right, that is all the parts of this kit put together. Now we're going to uh, get it back in the enclosure and see how it cuts this time. All right, now that the pieces are swapped out on our laser, we're gonna go ahead and put our cooling rack in and our 
three, three millimeter board and we'll try this again. Okay, so been testing again and looking at this wood a little closer, it's actually not plywood. It's got, not entirely sure, some kind of pressed board or super thick cardstock. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it's what they use on the back of cabinets. So it's not straight plywood. So what I'm gonna do is I actually took two of these uh, little 1.5 millimeter cards that came with the laser, glued those together, and we're gonna see how well it cuts that. <clears throat> I did it with one of them, and it cut through that, uh, two passes, cut through that perfect, so hopefully four passes for two of them, and we'll see how well that works. All right, so uh, we're done, we tested. Um, this worked way better. It did miss the corner just a little bit, and that is because the cooling rack is not level. Uh, so it was very hard to get this level on top of it. So we're gonna have to upgrade that, um, or something that's you know a little more stable, as well as uh, get some three quarter inch plywood instead of this. Um, this will cut. Mm -hmm. It just uh, takes about twice as long. Um, just whatever is in between uh, the two actual pieces, laminate pieces, uh, doesn't like to cut very well. So. But we literally picked these up just to test, yeah. just to see if the laser can even do it. Uh, so we'll order some better, some yeah. better quality um, wood and try again. Um, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, like, if you're in a pinch, this was at one of the box stores mm -hmm. uh, you can buy it like I said it's the backing for cabinets and um, panel yeah, and panel wall. so definitely could test on it it just you know like I said it takes a lot longer uh, to cut through so yeah. um, we'll we'll find some better wood and, and uh, get back on it I've got some other things I want to cut out so um, yeah all right, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. All right, thanks, guys.